What's going on guys, welcome back to a, another video. This is going to be my Wolves vs Liverpool match review. Let's go in. It's agony, ecstasy, we're all one big family. We've got each other's back, we're, we're the wolf pack, we're, we're the wolf pack. Here do I start with this game? Um, going into this game, we were definitely not favourites. Um, Liverpool were definitely odds on to win this game, especially them being unbeaten in like thirty nine games before um for this game. We played well in all fairness. Like it was just the fact is we <laughs> we need to take our chances because that's a prime example of what happens when you don't take your chances because Liverpool end up nicking it at the end and we were favourite well should we say when when Jimenez scored that goal we were pretty much odds on to really win the game weren't we so but first half we were getting dominated um my score prediction was gonna be two one I did get it right but obviously I had Wolves to win not Liverpool um, the first goal, what can you say, how Henderson was allowed to run and head that was it's beyond me, like, do you know what I mean, like, but it seemed like the whole game, Matinho didn't know how to manage with Henderson running in, because Henderson was Matinho's man, um, it was really, really shocking, well, I think um, I know Cody tried to get his head on it, but obviously with the running man, he's going to be favourite to win that ball in. So, what can you say? One nil. You go into going into the second half um, with Liverpool not having Mane because they went he went off. So to do with um, a hamstring, um, what can say suspe suspected uh, hamstring injury, but. He I don't know what he was going. He was like a he was like a bloody yo yo. He was first he was up, then lying on the floor, then up again, then on the floor, and then he walked off. Um, but that's second half. That's who I reckon Liverpool would look like we're missing. If they had uh, Mane, uh, second half, I reckon we could have easily be dominated again. Second half, but we didn't. We went second half. We went bang. Like, honestly, whatever Nuno said, second half was unbelievable because he got the Wolves uh, players pumped up um, that got the Wolves fans pumped up and then for me Traore again he was man of the match for me today just because in ev he was everywhere even first half he was everywhere he was lit on the left wing he was even playing centre for like a, pretty much a centre forward at one point to a right wing just all over the like, like side to side pretty much Second half, right, he came we came out and we looked like we wanted it more than Liverpool. Liverpool just could didn't know how to do what uh, deal with Troy already today. And he whips his whips in this ball. God knows how he gets in, but it's had a fantastic ball. And Jimenez just as Jimenez does, Si Senor heads it in. That's one one. And that's when we were favourites to win this game. We were going on like we were going to nick this. Like we were going, we were making chance after chance after chance, and Neto played well. Jimenez played well. I think the whole team played well. Backline, then Donka, right, and and Doherty today in the back, um, and obviously Sais and Code. I didn't really see Sais in all fairness. Didn't really see much of Sais today, um, but Do Doherty with the block. Then Donka played really really well centre back. I'm not going to get into that de debate again saying he's, he's sent, he a better centre-back than he's a centre-mid because loads of people disagree with me, but today's proved that he's going to be a, he's going to be a really, really good centre-back um, throughout his career. But then Traore was just ripping. Like, Andy Robinson just didn't know how to deal with him. Like, he got a yellow card, and if... He, that's the only option that most bloody... Left backs have when it comes to coming against throw away, they have to like foul him, get the yellow card, 
and not even Benjamin Mendy could put up with Troy away. So that's just saying something. Um, taking chance after chance. Jota came on. I was expecting Bolly to come on, but maybe it's a bit too early for him. Um, Jota, the thing is, there was a chance near the end of the game where it was Jimenez, Jota and Traore. And Jota played this ball to Jimenez, even though Traore, I think he just had tunnel vision. Like, he just didn't see Traore running through on goal. And if that, if he did take, take that chance, there's no stopping Traore. And he's gonna, probably going to bang that in. Then that, that's that's game over, in my opinion. That would be out. That would be three points for us. And we end bloody Liverpool's um, winning streak of 39. The standout player for them, in my opinion, um, has to be Joe Gomez, Van Dijk, mate. You ain't you you you're meant to be good. You meant you got you got um you um what's it called Ballon d'Or. Um, you meant to win the Ballon d'Or. You, you, you yeah, I don't think I I rate him. He's just I don't know. I don't think he, he has his moments. Like today, he definitely had his moments. Um, and. It just came to Bobby Firmino to win it for them. And for me, it, it, I saw it coming. Like the, the chance before he had, and obviously Raul Patricio decided to see he wants to stick a leg out and save it. Is why I, I could see them nicking it. They were just, didn't, just didn't seem to be taking that chance, in all fairness. Like, why we didn't take well he's just confused me mainly like why would you like i would run jota i would have definitely brought jota on a lot earlier to get him warm warmed up in the game wouldn't have brought him on the ten, last 10 minutes fair enough nuno's the uh the special one but if i was play if, if that was me i'd put definitely brought on um jota at least 20 minutes maybe 15 minutes into the game, just to get him then five minutes, ten minutes warmed up, and then the last five minutes just bang. He did have a chance, but there's nothing he could have done about that. He's fallen backwards. <sighs> what can I say? But if you look at Nuno's reaction to that miss, it just shows you the fact is it's not just the players on the pitch that are getting affected by obviously games. It's the manager as well. Um, Nuno's emotions just—he <sighs> looked angry. That's all I'm saying about that. Um, but now, Liverpool are 40 wins on the bounce and they are favourites to win the league. Um, fair play to them. They are very. They are definitely the team to beat. We've had our chances to beat them. Not going into the controversial 1-0 win against, uh, against us at Anfield, but today we could have won it and we just didn't. We could have done the, the league a favour and won it today and maybe... I should say, like a domino effect. If we knocked him off their perch today, who knows? They could have, like, had a bit of a lot, like, the confidence might, might have dropped. Um, but I just got to give it to Liverpool. They're definitely on on par to to win the league. City ain't going to catch them up. City are definitely not going to catch them up. The thing is, the difference between Liverpool and City was we beat City twice this season. Um at their place 2-0 and our place 3-2. Three, uh, three um, the difference between that was Liverpool, they played really, really well at Anfield, so did we. Today, they played us off the park first half, but the thing is we did exactly the same as we did against City, but City didn't know how to, like, do you know what I mean? They, they, City went into, like, shell shock. Well, Liverpool, they played really well. They were calm, they did what they needed to do, they did loads of things, and they deserved the, no, I wouldn't say the win, because we deserved the win, um, but they definitely deserved to win the league. Uh, anyway, that's my match review, hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, leave a like down below, comment your thoughts on the game, um, all our social medias will be in the description below, um, give, a, give us a like on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. There are plenty more Wolves videos, reviews, vlogs, all that kind of stuff in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and peace. We've got each other.